Hey guys, um, I just wanted to go over a couple quick things at the track. Um, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I won't go into super depth, but just kind of a basic um, analysis here. So I just did like a quick lap with full fuel, um, just to kind of show uh, um, the lines I, I was taking in. Um, so here, uh, for the first turn, basically what I like to do, um, I take it a little bit different than Sam. Sam, what he does is he comes in on the inside. Uh, and stays really tight to the um, to the grass area here. Um, I usually kind of aim wider and just kind of point it towards this pole or kind of at this edge here while I'm braking. So what I'll do is it's kind of in slow motion, so it's harder to see. Um, what I like to do is I'll once I pass this uh, the light up here in the top. Um, I'll normally break somewhere in between there and getting to the, the yellow line. Uh, with full fuel, you're going to want to um, you're going to want to break a little bit earlier. Obviously, in qualifying, you can come closer to the line and start breaking, but in the race, you just want to be smooth about it and not you know spin out as you uh, as you approach. So basically, you come down, start tapping the brakes. You can see the brake pressure here, um, and you'll kind of ease off of it. And then get back on it um, as you as you keep the the car straight, and then just try to get onto the inside towards the tires. So as you see, you go around the turn there, and then I have another video spliced in real quick. Let's see. So this is going up to the to the next turn here. Um, you can take this actually a number of different ways. Um, actually a, a safe way to take it if you're worried about spinning um, you, you can actually from in your during your braking you can actually head right for the corner you can literally just go so when you're coming to um, close to a standstill you'll be right at the apex already um, it, it kinda does limit your speed a little bit uh, through the the infield part uh, you're not gonna get as much um, of an exit speed obviously um, but it's a little bit safer actually to take it like that if you're kind of nervous about it. Um, and it's kind of good to practice different lines too because a lot of times you'll get traffic that's going to stay wide here for you. So you got to kind of stay tight anyway. So it's good to practice that. Here I kind of do something in between. This is like a halfway. Um, you can take all different kinds of lines through here. And a lot of times they'll actually be pretty close to even. The, actually the, the fastest line that you want to take for qualifying would be actually the wide line like um, you'll see in Sam Sam uploaded his replay and that shows his line that that's actually a really good line that he takes it's pretty perfect um, so because with that line you can maximize your exit speed totally and he does he really tracks out to the outside uh, carrying a lot of speed so here you'll see pay attention to the the inputs here you want to try to get on the gas really early here even if it's just partial like this um, that'll pull you through the corner uh, if you just wait until you're more straightened out you're screwed obviously so you want to try to get back onto the throttle as soon as possible even if it's just very minimal like a quarter throttle um, this will allow the the car to get through the turn and you just want to track out as much as you can um, you don't have to track out as much as you can but if you see full speed here that's a better representation you really wanted to track out to the end there so here's for the next turn this one's pretty tricky actually. Um, in qualifying, you'll see me start braking towards the last cones here uh, really late and I'll just slam down on the gears um, while I'm braking. Here during the race, you're going to want to start to brake somewhere around these first three cones or so. Um, it's a lot safer. <laughs> if, you, if you try braking at the last cone during the race with full fuel, you'll probably end up in the grass actually because that's it's a it's a hard turn to make so you just kinda wanna gradually do your brake job here this this turn two you can actually take a, a variety of different lines you can stay out wide and cut in or you can kinda keep it close the whole time the the wider line is better but the inside line is safer uh... where you're not gonna um, risk is uh... getting sideways as much so here um... let's see so i start braking pretty early you can see from the brake pressure here the indicator um, and then I start to turn in. What you want to do is you want to concentrate on hitting this yellow part right here that jots out the furthest. Obviously, that is the apex, but um, it's kind of a long, <laughs> it's actually a lot longer turn than it seems, so it takes a while to get around it. 
Um, so what I try to do is I try to aim for this piece right here and hit it. And then you'll see I'll try to get on th the throttle right as I hit that apex. Even if it's just minimal. You want to you want to start tracking out right away and, and getting that speed, that exit speed. Uh, obviously it's not a very long little straightaway here, but uh, to get through this infield you want to, uh, to get on that throttle as early as possible. So here's a full, full sp uh, speed replay. Getting on the throttle is very key there, as you can see. This this um, this turns a little bit more straightforward. Um, I I normally ha select my breaking point as this point right here, where the white line breaks off, or the first cone. Um, with this turn, obviously the biggest um, or the most important thing about it is exit speed. That's all that matters with this turn. Um, you don't really want to worry about your entrance speed. This this is the true this this uh, turns the true definition of slow in fast out. Um, because even if there's a guy right behind you and you take that um, you take the um, the actual turn in pretty slow and you get that awesome exit, he ain't gonna catch you. So you don't really need to worry about it. Um, he's gonna be bunched up behind you anyway, and um, so getting getting ensuring that you get that exit speed is is all you need to worry about if you go off to the right too far you're screwed you won't get any traction in there it really does kill your time down the straight so there you'll see I break right about where I was saying at that first cone you do want to clip this inside um, this inside yellow strip if you can don't worry about taking it too tight actually you can actually uh, put uh, your front tire off in the grass a little bit and it won't give you a 1x um, even though 1x's aren't really going to be counted in this race so it's not that important um, so basically yeah you want to stay tight right there you really want to aim for this yellow spot you want to try to hit it every time that'll that'll set you up nicely um, here actually I believe this is one of the every once in a while I'll do this where if I feel like I'm getting a little bit um, if I don't get a good turn in I'll upshift to third uh, I'll be in second as I'm turning, but I'll up, upshift to third early to get traction, and then I'll slam it right back down to second to just fly out of the turn. Um, it seems like yeah, if you're halfway through the turn and you're not sure, just upshift to third, give it a little gas, and it'll 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 hook right up, and then you drop it down to second and take off. I don't know if I did if I showed this one full speed or not. I think I did. Let's see. Yep, I did. Okay. So this is full speed. Aim for the yellow. I put the third and down to second. Up to third, down to second. You don't have to do that. Most of the time I do just keep it in second the whole time and really feather onto the throttle very carefully. And as, as soon as I feel like it's hooked, I'll get. I'll go up to full. I'll be at like half throttle to 70% throttle and then just full throttle it. So here's the bus stop. This is probably the trickiest damn part. Um, <laughs> the, the, for some reason with the, the current weather situation the way it is, it it doesn't feel very good no matter what I try in it. Uh, normally, at least last season when we were at Daytona during the night race, uh, it felt fantastic to go through the bus stop. You like you could just pin in and out of it so fast. Um, but I think maybe that because it had a lot cooler track temperatures, and maybe it just we're getting too much slide from the high track temps. So here's here's how I've been taking it. Um, I start braking as you can see. Um, in between, in qualifying, I'll wait until like the the one uh, board. Um, but in the race, I'll probably start braking in between the yellow uh, the yellow light there and the one so somewhere in between probably right in the middle or at least like after you cross this so yeah I actually break pretty early here um, don't worry about breaking too early uh, for the bus stop either uh, the last thing you want is to break too late because if you break too late you're screwed um, you're gonna overshoot it and you're gonna scramble just to try to keep it on the track and obviously that's gonna kill your exit speed so the entrance to this is super important you don't have to have to fly into it you can actually slow down decently and if you get on the gas early you're gonna get a good exit speed and it's gonna carry you all the way down to the start finish straight so 
just keep that in mind that the entrance is, is very important for the exit. So don't worry about taking it slow. So I take actually as much curb as I can here um, without going over. If you go over, it can get you loose. So what you want to do is you want to try to take as much entrance curb as possible because what that's going to do is um, that's going to set you up for the next one. What you want to do in the bus stop is you want to try to get the steering wheel turning right by the time you get to this strip. Um, if you swing out wide and don't go onto the yellow here, it's going to be very hard to get a good exit. You're going to you're going to be cut short and almost you know probably take a cutting penalty. So you want to have the steering wheel if you can turning right by the time you get here. So it's actually using the rumble strip to turn. See if you look at the steering wheel. See I'm clipping it. So you want to you want to clip that inside yellow. This is going to set you up very nicely for the exit. And I didn't get any one X's here or anything. This was this was a clean lap. So um, I took take the full yellow there, and then I take the full yellow here. So basically, it's full yellows all the way around. That's that's a good way to do it. Let's see. I think I get it full speed here too. Yep. This is at full speed. Full, down to fourth. So it's pretty clean. Um. So what you do want to want to concentrate on, obviously, is that exit speed. Um, and, and as you see here, um, I go down to fourth gear for this. Um, I get down to fourth before I um, I take the the right turn. Um, so basically. Um, Oh, sorry. My dog was freaking out. Um, so, what was I saying? So, um, yeah, take full curves here. You want to stay right on it. Um, as you saw from my other vi video that shows where the, um, where the corner cut is. <laughs> as long as you get your right wheel somewhere on the, on the left edge here of the, uh, the runoff or the, the curbing, you're okay. If you miss the the car completely <laughs> into the grass, that's when you get a cut. Uh, it used to be a lot stricter in the past, where even just half the car off to the left from this line uh, would would cause a corner cut. So here, as I was saying before, um, you want to uh, you want to go down to fourth for this, but don't be a, don't be afraid to go down to third. If you think you're overshooting it, um, you you actually do. You want to get down to third gear to to make sure you make the bus stop. Um, I, I've, I've come across, across that a few times where you carry just a little too much speed into the bus stop. I'll actually downshift into third and it'll, it'll keep the car a lot safer going through the bus stop and make sure you actually make it. Um, say for example, you do get a cutting penalty. Um, all you need to do, I probably should have showed this in the video, which I didn't. Um, all you need to do is, um, at this point we're like, this is about the point where it would be telling you that you have a cutting penalty. Um, just uh, slam on the brakes really quick and and sh downshift to, to um, I think it's fourth because you, you'll be in fifth by this point so just just jab the brakes real quick downshift to fourth and then just floor it again and, and just keep going that is enough of a slowdown to for it to, to clear the uh, the cut course uh, penalty so just a quick uh, a quick downshift quick break as you're doing it and just go um, that way you don't lose too much speed down there and that's it. Um, sorry, it's kind of a rushed video. Um, not very professional. <laughs> but um, I hope you kind of get the idea as to, as to how to get around here. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.